What's up guys, Dodgers Randy here for today's game recap. The Dodgers in Pittsburgh. Um, I'm not giving you a score right this second because to be honest with you guys, I'm still watching the game. Uh, have I need to, this game went way longer than I was hoping, so trying to get this done. Uh, it's currently 11 to seven. Dodgers are winning, Stripling is on the mound. There are two outs left in the ninth. It's a runner on third, but like I said, two outs. They'd have to score four runs to tie this up, so I think we're good. Um, but let's get into this. We'll go. All right. So today, Maeda was reactivated off the injured list. Um, that was after he fouled that ball off his uh, quad a couple week and a half ago, whatever it was, against San Diego at home. Wasn't a real injury they were concerned about, but they did want to put him on the IL because they had... Uh, three off days within the span of a week, so they didn't necessarily need him, so let him get some rest. Uh, Kyle Garlic was optioned back to AAA with that move, so Maeda had his start today. Wasn't the greatest, but we'll get into it in a minute. Uh, Tony Singrani, wait for it, nope. Uh, Tony Singrani unfortunately had shoulder pain following his, uh, his outing in OKC on Friday, so he has to now be reassessed and probably get another MRI. That is a huge bummer because we knew how much um, he meant to our bullpen back in 2017. At least I felt like he was a big piece and he just has not been the same since getting hurt last year. Uh, was really hoping he was on the right track. This bullpen has been really bad this year. Uh, they've had their moments, they've been really good. They've had their moments, they've been really bad. Today goes to show that it's just another rough day for this bullpen, and I was really hoping Singrani would be help, but it looks like they're gonna have to hold off on that a little bit longer. Uh, Alex Verdugo coming into this game, he was pulled last night. They did have a big lead. However, he has been dealing with back tightness. They're not worried. He wasn't in the lineup today. He is expected to be back in the lineup on Monday. However, he did pinch hit. Um, so clearly it's not something they're too worried about if they were able to get him in there. Uh, <clears throat> if they were able to get him in there and have him bat when they didn't need him to, it seems like it's nothing to really work, worry about. So expect to see him back in the lineup tomorrow. Uh, we did get another update on Andrew Tolls, and unfortunately, he is no longer working out at Camelback Ranch. He left. Uh, Roberts thinks he left due to family reason or to be with family. Um, obviously, Roberts probably knows, but he's not going to sit here and tell us, the public, everything that's going on. So I wouldn't read too much into the word thinks and go and you think that Roberts doesn't know. I'm sure he does, but it's not really our business what's going on uh, in Tolls' personal life. So. Whatever's going on, hope him and his family are okay and healthy uh, and just kind of going in the right direction because I feel bad for him. was really excited for him to come back and uh, hopefully get things going. But as long as he's happy and getting to where he needs to be, that's all that matters. Um, Dodgers defense. I know there's some people concerned about the defense. I I'm very happy with what the defense has done this year. Um, and just to kind of put that into perspective, last season the Dodgers were 12th in baseball with 11 uh, defensive run saves. This season they lead MLB with 20 defensive run saves. So big upgrade already on defense out there, uh, especially in the outfield. I think a lot of those outs are coming from the outfield, but all around better this year. Uh, so can't be upset with that. As for Maeda, like I said, not a great day for him. He pitched five innings, um, had four strikeouts. He didn't walk anyone, good sign. However, he did give up three earned runs. He gave up two home runs, always seems to be his issue. Um, he just gives up the long ball too much. When he's not giving up home runs, guys don't score. All three of the runs came off the two home runs. So he's very good when he doesn't give up the long ball. Um, he did go 81 pitches. I understand Robert's taking him out because it is his first start in about 10 days or so, whatever it's been. So no reason to push him out there when they had the lead they had. Uh, or no, he went five and I guess they didn't have a, they didn't have a big lead at that time. They only had a one run lead, but however, it made sense. They, they went and scored six runs the next inning. So that's what it was. Um, oh no, sorry. They did have a big lead when they decided his day was over because that's when they brought in Verdugo to bat and they had scored six runs that night. Okay, never mind. I apologize. But anyways, it makes sense. They took him out even if they didn't have a big lead. Um, just no reason to push him right now. Want to keep these arms healthy. A lot of people get upset that Roberts pulls guys too early, but we've also seen these guys tire out and completely fall apart. And just to let you guys know, 
game is over. Stripling ended it with a strikeout. So that moves the Dodgers to 35 and 18 on the season. They have swept the Pirates both times they have faced them this year, and it is their sixth sweep of the season. So this team just keeps doing it. Only other teams in baseball with 35 wins are the Twins and Astros. I Their games are probably over, um, and I can't. There, there's no update on my screen, so I can't tell you right now if they're now 36. Looked like the Astros were losing. Looked like the Twins were going to win. So uh, they went 6-2 and two on this road trip. Very happy with this team. Uh, but back to back to the pitching a little bit. Just okay with Maeda getting pulled out. We want to keep him healthy. We see him in October. We see guys get worn out. No reason to overdo it. Um, my only thing was having to have bullpen guys come in because they do not have an off day until next Thursday. So uh, hopefully we can get some length out of these starters. Kershaw tomorrow um, and keep it going from there. Caleb Ferguson came in in the sixth inning. Unfortunately, he just does not look like himself this year, at least like he did last year. I don't want to say he's bad. He got rushed up last year, um, but I do think he needs to spend a little bit more time in AAA and kind of figuring things out. He just, he, he walked a guy with one out. However, it was kind of a bad call by the umpire. It could have been strike three, and then you have two outs. However, even following that walk, he gives up three straight singles and then he gets a ground out. So either way, even if he doesn't walk that guy, he's still giving up at least one run, maybe two. And then he gives up another RBI single. And at the end of the day, umpires are going to make bad calls behind the plate on the base pass. As a pitcher, you have to find a way to get out of it. And Ferguson really struggled out there. He only threw 21 pitches and gave an, and faced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight guys. Or, yeah, eight guys. So he just unfortunately didn't look good out there. He had his debut in Pittsburgh. Didn't look good out there either, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully, I'm assuming Joe Kelly will be activated tomorrow. We'll see what the corresponding move is. I would not be surprised to see Ferguson uh, going back to AAA or being put on the IL for some injury that he probably doesn't have. Uh, Baez made his first appearance today since getting hit by that line drive in Tampa Bay. He looked like himself. Uh quick outing for him. He did walk a guy, but other than that, we got three quick outs. So happy to have him back. Happy to have him look the same out there and not struggle and just walk a bunch of guys or get hit. So hopefully there's no lingering effects on him getting hit in the knee. Yimmy Garcia, good day for him. He came in, he did give up an infield single, uh, but he had two strikeouts, got out of that inning, no problem. Stripling struggled a little bit to get into this uh, inning, gave up a single and an RBI double. But then he got his three outs, fly out, ground out, strike out to end the game. So not a terrible day overall, I guess. It was just more so a bad day for uh, Ferguson and not a great day for Maeda. But other than that, no complaints. Uh, not a good day for Stripling, but I don't want to hold that against him because he does have his moments where he's been very good for us. Um, offense, guys, I don't... Man, we always and this happens and I know I'm not the only one Dodgers score a lot of runs in one game we're always worried the next game they're gonna come out and score one or two they have scored I think it's 28 runs this series um that's a lot they scored I believe it was 10 Friday night 7 last night and 11 today that's insane they're just they're lighting it up out there and again everybody is contributing the only guy today who didn't get a hit uh, was Max Muncy and Barnes, but Barnes did reach base three times. Uh, so we'll start off with Jock really quick. Another good game for him. Um, he did walk. He also hit his 15th home run of the season, uh, was a solo home run. So he now has 28 RBIs. He also had an RBI single. So now he's at 29. Uh, so really good for him. He's getting up there for a guy that doesn't hit against lefties. His numbers are looking really good. You have Christian Yelich leading all of MLB with 20 home runs and jocks at 15 and only faces right-handed pitching. So he's killing it out there when he's out, when he is out there. Sometimes he slumps, sometimes he does that. Today he had a good day. Uh, Muncie, just an unfortunate day for him. Uh, he got robbed. I think it was his first at bat. They made a nice diving play. <clears throat> Other than that, he had, he had four, four total fly outs and a ground out, uh, but he did walk. So he's putting the ball in play. Didn't strike out. Uh, looked like he was hitting the ball. Well, just not his day. Justin Turner, absolutely his day. This guy has been on fire since about the last day or two of April. And since then he has taken off. 
He had five hits in tonight's game. That is a career high. It's his first ever five hit game. And he also reached base all six times because he did walk and that's the most uh, he's ever reached in a game as well. So congrats to him. He's doing his thing out there. And when Turner's doing his thing, uh, it seems like the rest of this team just comes together. Bellinger, he did not have a bad day by any means, but he was actually almost one of the worst on the day. Um, and that's a total compliment because <laughs> he didn't do bad. He had a walk and a double, his 12th double of the season. Um, but that just goes to show how good the rest of the lineup did. Bellinger is on a roll. And when Bellinger isn't the only one carrying this offense, they're capable of putting up 11 runs every night because the guys that came out and did it today, besides Matt Beatty, the rest of these guys are your everyday players who are capable of playing this way every single day. Um, you also don't really get five or six at-bats every game, but you guys get the point. Uh, Matt Beatty, huge day for him. Uh, started off with a ground out and a strikeout. He has been hitting the ball really hard. He's just been unfortunately hitting it right at guys. Well, today he finally got a break. Uh, he did have a two-run single, so he picked up. He actually had four RBIs on the day, so he's up to now five RBIs in total. Uh, he did reach on an error, but he got an RBI out of it. It was a pretty tough, hit, hard-hit ball. Didn't really know if they are going to call it an error or a hit. They ended up going with the error. He still got the RBI for it and uh, had another RBI single and <clears throat> another bat. So great day for him. Two hits, four RBIs. Uh, congratulations to the rookie on his first I think that's his, yeah, his first multi-hit game, I believe, and his first multi, it was his first multi-RBI game, because before this he only had one, and congrats on your first four RBI game, because that's pretty huge, um, so happy for him. Corey Seager, sorry this is kind of long, they did a lot today, um, Corey Seager, he hit his fifth home run of the day, it was the first run in the game, um, so he got things going. It was a solo home run. He's up to 23 RBIs on the season. He seems to be finding his swing. Uh, really happy about that. He did have a fielder's choice later in the game. However, he did get an RBI out of it as well. So he's up to 24 on the year. He walked, so no strikeouts for him. Hit the ball well, got, two, uh, got a hit, home run. So I really, really think we're about to see him start trending upwards, uh, back to the guy he was. May still be about another month or so until we see it consistently, but I do believe he is going in that direction. Um, Kike, he's been struggling a lot, but good game for him today. He walked, he had a single, and he got hit by pitch. Um, he barely got hit by pitch. I believe it was on the elbow pad, so no big deal. He was fine. Um, but nice to see him get his chances, get out there, find a way to get on base because he's really been struggling. Uh, Barnes, he's been killing it this road trip. If you look at his last four or five games, I think he's hitting like 400, something like that. I don't know. Either way, he's doing really well. He walked twice today. He did get hit by pitch. He got hit by pitch with the bases loaded. Uh, so that gave him his 15th RBI today. I checked, if anyone can answer this, I checked the MLB at bat app and unless they changed it, Kike got hit with the bases loaded, didn't get an RBI for it. Barnes got hit with the bases loaded, did get an RBI for it. So if anyone can explain to me why that is, I would really appreciate it. Um, unfortunately though, on another play after he got hit by the pitch, he was rounding second on a single <clears throat> and he just unfortunately pulled up a little weird. His groin, you could see him, it did not. For some reason, we don't know what happened. He left the game with left groin soreness, really hoping it's nothing serious. Um, we don't want to see Barnes go down. We don't want to see a catcher replacement come up unless they're ready to bring up Will Smith. Um, but other than that, Barnes, I hope he's okay. He's been really key to this team since Martin has been back, uh, and we need him out there. I mean, the guy's got 15 RBIs on the year. That's pretty impressive for a guy who doesn't play every day, uh, and he didn't hit very well last year. I mean, Corey Seager has 23 RBIs and Barnes is behind him with eight. So I think we're all pretty impressed by that. Uh, Martin did get one at bat. He was also hit by pitch. A lot of hit by pitches today. Um, he luckily got out of it just in time, just missed his face, turned, hit him right here. So that was a scary moment. Last thing they needed was both catchers to go down. However, they did mention on the broadcast that Max Muncy would be our emergency catcher. I don't ever want to see our catchers get hurt, but I would be very interested to see Max Muncy in catcher's gear behind the plate trying to catch uh, some of our guys. But 
Uh, Verdugo ended up having like a, he pinch hit today for Maeda. He had a sack fly. So he now has 24 RBIs on the day. Taylor did pinch it as well. He had a strikeout. But other than that, the team killed it all the way around. Very happy with the outcome of this game. They head home tomorrow for Memorial Day. They will be home for a four game series against the Mets. No, three game series against the Mets and then four game series against the Nationals before heading off to Arizona. So it's going to be a next, a uh, uh, fun next wait no sorry they play the Phillies this weekend I said the Nats because I knew Harper was coming to town I'm pretty sure they play the Phillies this weekend um anyways yeah <laughs> uh yeah because the Nationals already came to town so never mind the Phillies uh I'm excited about that one. Should be a lot of fun. Uh gonna be some good baseball tomorrow Kershaw versus DeGrom. I don't think it is nationally televised. I'm trying to pull it up for you guys really quickly. Um, I don't, yeah. So this one is, oh, it is. It's on ESPN tomorrow if you're not blacked out. Oh, and it's on KTLA. So watch the game tomorrow if you can. Um, should be a really good one. Kershaw, DeGrom on the mound. Our first game against the Mets this season. Uh, decent team. They have Pete Alonzo, guy that's given a run for the money for the NL Rookie of the Year. And we've got Alex Verdugo, so we'll send them both out there tomorrow, see which one of them matches up better. I'm going to take Alex Verdugo, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye, guys.